What's up guys, Brennan J. Today we're gonna be diving down under a floating water park to see what people have lost at the bottom. Lit's Adventure Park invited us out here. They actually closed the entire park until noon just so we could treasure hunt and see what we can find. So we have this place totally to ourselves. Guys, so this is Jake. He's pretty much set all of this up for us today. Man, there's tons of stuff. We get like tens of thousands of people every summer. Sunglasses, we get Apple watches, we get iPhones. Like oh, everyone brings their stuff the out bangers. there. Dude, we <laughs> tell them not to, they still do. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna find out there. That's awesome. That's awesome. So it sounds like Jake already knows there's a ton of stuff at the bottom. It's just up to us to find it now. So the items for today's video, we've got the metal detector. We're gonna have a bunch of big I promise I know what I'm doing when it comes to scuba diving. I'm not a rookie. We've got our big treasure bag right here. Hopefully we can fill this thing up with iPhones, GoPros, Apple watches, sunglasses. Pretty much everything we see today, it's going in this bag. Of course, we got the goggles with the GoPro so I can bring you guys along underwater. We also have this giant 30,000 lumen underwater light because you never know how creepy and dark it could get down there. The heaviest thing of all time. We've got the scuba tank so I can stay under there for hours and search for treasure. All right, so here's more of the obstacle course. These big pyramids are a big problem and I think a lot of people are losing stuff there. As you guys can tell, I'm on one of the highest spots of the course right now. There are two pyramids. There's this one, which is way higher than it actually seems. There's that one over there. You can kind of see the overlay of the whole course here and where we're gonna be searching for treasure. We did come out here a day earlier when the course was actually open. We sent the drone up to do a little bit of recon to find the hot spots of where people are jumping off, falling in, and potentially losing the most treasure. After a little bit of research, we determined this pyramid and that pyramid by far have the most jumps. And there's a ninja jump as well, which we'll get into a little bit later. So we're finally about to get in the water, but I want to give you a quick breakdown of the course. So we're going to go on the shallow side first. We're going to hit this whole line. There's a bunch of obstacles here. They end with the monkey bars. After this, we'll show you what we found and move down the line until we get to the last spot, which is the deepest and it's the pyramid jumps where we think we're going to find all of the bangers. With that being said, let's hop into the water and see what we can find at the bottom. diving under everything I wanted to cut in some above footage to show you the exact obstacles that I'm under and why people are falling and basically why we're gonna find stuff exactly where we do next up this is my highest hope we've got the monkey bars all the way down I think we're gonna find a ton of stuff here because these monkey bars are pretty hard to hold on to when your hands are wet not only that if you do fall and drop something it's just going straight to the bottom Oh my gosh. Dude, so we just hit the first stretch. That's gotta be the shallowest spot because it's closest to shore. We still have the rest of the obstacle course to go. It was freaking scary down there. I'm like walking in grass, like all the way up to my legs. It's uh, pretty scary, but I do want to show you some of my finds because we got uh, we got some bangers. That's a good bag. <laughs> we got Jake over there. He's watching from the shore. First up, as always, you got a little bit of trash. Anywhere we go, you're gonna find some trash. My favorite piece of trash though, I've gotta say is this piece of bubble gum. 
Uh, this is literally, you can still see someone's teeth prints in this, which is pretty gross. I saw it on the top of the grass. I grabbed the bubble gum. I just put it in my bag. I was like, that's nasty, but it's treasure. <laughs> so this is my first ever bubble gum treasure. Next up, we've got some goggles. I'm sure we're going to find a ton more of these. And again, these aren't things that I'm finding with a metal detector. These are just things that I'm seeing like in the grass. I'm picking them out, uh, but it's pretty cool. First banger of the day. Some people say they find Jesus when they go through hard times. I find Jesus when I dive under the water park. <laughs> we got a gold Jesus ring. It's got Jesus written all around it and crosses, which is pretty legendary. Um, it's one of my first metal detecting finds. I kept digging through the mud till I finally pulled this out. So this is sick. One of my favorite finds of this first dive though is this iPhone. We knew we were going to find an iPhone and it was right under the monkey bars that we thought. So somebody was going across, phone drops down, it's gone forever until your boy Brandon J scuba dives it right back out. So not sure what model this is. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. But with that being said, we've got two bangers today. We've got the gold ring. Jesus, I mean, you can't top that. And then we've got the iPhone. All right, the next line we're gonna be diving is this one now. It has a crazy obstacle. It's like the ninja jump. It looks easy. I tried this yesterday, it is not. All the kids were falling right here and I guarantee this is gonna be another banger area. There's two of them. There's one right here and there's one on the far side. So we're gonna hit this. It's gonna be a little bit deeper, which it's gonna be a little bit scarier. Who knows what the grass is like over there, but I do think we're gonna find some bangers here. And uh, then we've got one more with the whoop dee doos and then the last one with the big pyramid. So we're saving the best for last. Let's hop in the water, drop down, see what we can find, baby. Round two, brother cousins. Luckily, I see a line this time, so I'm gonna follow this line down. Wish me luck. I'll see you guys at the bottom. This is gonna be the best day ever. This is gonna be the best day. Terrified down there. The grass is taller than me, brother. I'm freaking terrified. I gotta get out of here for a second. Oh god. The grass went from like yay high to there was times where I was looking through the grass. I was literally had to take my metal detector. I was literally had to take my metal detector, bring it up over, mush it all the way through the grass because I couldn't like push it forward or else it'd bend my metal detector down. It was terrifying. It was like this. Yeah, look, 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 look. My friggin' my friggin' metal detector is covered in this stuff. And this ain't even how tall it was. It was way bigger. <laughs> friggin' this stuff was scary. Alright, so I was able to find some of this stuff. Can you smell that this this smell? Does it smell like anything? Take a, take a sniff of that. Yeah, it's pretty bit. pretty yeah. bad, right? So we've got a couple of sunglasses, some really, um, we got some cool sunglasses, some half sunglasses. Most of these I found because either stepped on them or uh, the metal detector went off with like the metal frames. A lot of the goggles I saw again, just kind of like floating around. But uh, yeah, this one was not efficient. I was not able to like really search that well. So I was only able to see what I could see with my eyes. and. Metal detector was almost useless. There was so much grass, which I've never ran into before. With that being said, we're going over to this next spot. It's got trampolines, wave rider, the whoop de woos I call them. It says risky business on the side of it. And uh, yeah, so this one, I don't think people are going to be falling too much here, but I could be wrong. So either way, we're going to search it. 
and then we've got one last one. <laughs> and I was so excited about it, the big pyramids, but now I'm getting a little more sketched out because of the freaking grass. It went from there to here, grass jumped up like three feet, so <laughs> who knows? Who knows what it could be down there? Hopefully it's just sand bottom because the light can't penetrate, but I definitely could be wrong. I've been wrong so far. goodness man let me tell you this is the most challenging metal detecting I've ever done I'm literally like if, th if this is the grass I'm looking at it and I'm like I'm putting my metal detector up I'm sleeping around I'm like walking through silt it's like the craziest I've dealt with silt, silt and I've dealt with tall grass I've never dealt with the combo of like your knees are sinking to the bottom through silt the grass is over your head it's freaking crazy, but Lift Adventure Park, I would like to congratulate you on your world record bluegill that is under here that I at first thought was an angel fish. That's how big it was. This is a little bit of saltwater too, so there's saltwater fish in here, which by the way also is freaking scary shark stuff like that. So uh, I was diving and I saw this big shadow and I was like, oh God. Of course, you know, I'm already like grass level, so I'm just peeking up over this grass. And sure enough, man, I find these big bluegill beds and I swear to you, this bluegill was this big around. We found these. These are uh, polarized Oakleys. That they're also the Baltimore Ravens edition, which I think is really cool. It has the uh, NFL badge right here on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. We've got that. We've got the gold, and we've got the purple for uh, Baltimore Ravens. So pretty freaking sick. I think it's time. It's time, Trav, for the very last thing. The moment you guys have been waiting for. At this point, I may call it the Tower of Terror. <laughs> it is, it's gonna be sketchy. We're seeing a lot more animals the deeper we go, or fish the deeper we go. And uh, I think we're gonna send it. It's a proven fact that jumping like this scares the fish out from underneath the platform. So we're doing this before we dive down. Let's go. All right, this is the last spot we're diving. I'll see you guys at the bottom. Hopefully we find some banger. We're gonna hit this tower. We're gonna go all the way down and hit the last tower. This is where hopefully we find the best stuff. Oh my God, that is the truth. This is it, the highest spot on the course, the mega tower. It is truly a lot taller than it seems. And this is where people jump off into the water. They also jump off here. We'll have to search these as giant hot spots. Searched the whole thing. GoPro die. Treasure's been found. What a day. I saw that bluegill again. I was thinking in my head, I was like, I gotta come back and catch this guy and be 
Florida's biggest bluegill catcher ever. All right, so we're finally done with the whole dive. It was super cool to get to experience something like this. It was uh, treacherous terrain to say the least. We had silt and grass, you guys already know, but we were able to get some really good finds. So we'll start over here. This is our, uh, well, this is our junk. We've got, you know, the typical stuff. Um, trap, I did find my nuts when I was under there. So we've got those right there. We got a zipper. Um, we've got this whistle, which we did test it earlier. Still works, but now I got salty, sandy mouth. I forgot to show you guys this when I hopped out, but I did find either a giant fingernail or the most epicest toenail of all time. So we do have someone's bodily parts here. I could put human remains found, but I won't do that to you guys. Whole line of goggles. Now these things are freaking sick. There's a whole bunch of different sizes, colors, um, which are a lot of fun. If we get 30,000 likes on today's video, I will do a treasure hunting video with these goggles on next time. Uh, it probably won't be very many finds considering I can't see, but 30,000 likes, I'll do anything for you guys. Some of our better finds, we've got these banger sunglasses down here. And last but not least, the true bangers. We've got the watch, which you guys already saw, which is pretty sick. We have the gold Jesus ring, which that's a, uh, that's a new one. I'm not gonna lie, that's a new one right there. And the banger of the day, in my opinion, is this iPhone. I don't know which uh, iPhone this is. So again, let me know in the comment section below. You think I would know, I have an iPhone myself, but I think after like iPhone 7, I just stopped, you know, remember it. No, I, no, iPhone 10, iPhone X, iPhone X. After iPhone X, I just, kind of uh, lost track of all the different models. So let me know in the comment section below which one this is. As you guys know, if you've watched the videos before, everything we find electronic wise, stuff like this, we always try to get it back to the owner. So we're gonna put this in rice when we get home, see if we can charge it. At that point, we'll see if it's unlocked, if we can get access, maybe a phone call or a missed call um, to find the owner. So we'll keep you guys updated, but it's easier for me to update you guys in real time on my Instagram. It's Jigging with Jordan on Instagram, just like YouTube. I'll leave it in the link to the description below as well if you guys wanna follow the story of the old iPhone here. All right, well, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed one of the cooler underwater videos we've got to do in a while. So big thanks to Lyft Adventure Park for letting us come out here and do this and just basically letting this be our playground for a day. I really appreciate it. If you guys are in the Florida area or if you're ever coming down to the good old state of Florida, I will have it linked in the description below. You guys gotta check this place out. There's a ton of fun activities and you already know if you drop your iPhone down there, you may be in one of our videos. So, you know, come out here. And <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, big thanks to them. I'll have them linked in the description below. Now, normally I do my light goals in the beginning of the video, but um, based on the grass and the sketchiness of this spot, I was gonna do a light goal and say, if we can get X amount of likes, I will dive the uh, wakeboard park under the cable where like wakeboarders can fall. I know there's GoPros there, but it's about 50 to 60 foot. Who knows what kind of crazy animals we're gonna run into or uh, crazy grass or vegetation. So I guess I'll throw this out there. It's at the end of the video. So hopefully we don't hit it, but if you guys wanna see it, I'll make it happen. How many likes, Trav? We gotta go hard. 50K? All right, 50,000, cause I'm too scared to do it. So if you guys hit 50,000 likes, we will come back to Lift Adventure Park. We'll dive under the wakeboard park where the cables go around in really deep water, who knows? There's definitely gonna be some treasure there, but I'm only doing it if we hit 50K. So that's the deal. If we get it, I'll do it. If we don't, I'll be happy not to. With that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. Oh my gosh, man. I never thought I'd be here. Without YouTube, I'd never be doing stuff like this. <laughs>